Welcome, everybody. Yes! Yes! Happy Memorial Day to everybody in the United States that is celebrating, to everybody outside of the United States that's celebrating. Um, big up to all of our service members all around the world that protect this great country in which I reside. Um, there is nobody here right now. It's just me and the eight legends in the chat. So smash the likes up. We already got 18 likes the last time I checked before the show even started. That is how I know that I have the best viewership that I could ask for. More than I deserve, to be 100% honest with you. So what we are going to do is we are going to drop the link because you guys already smashed what I asked you to do. So might as well just post the link, right? So if you want to join the show, we're going to talk about anything. Nothing is off the table. In terms of talking English Premier League football, football in general, let's let's just go in on it. Um, I'll start off Arsenal five, Wolves nil, and we all expected that if we're to be one hundred percent honest with ourselves. Um, Arsenal come in and perform when they are, uh, you know, free and clear, essentially on the beach, right? So, um, yeah, goals, two goals from Granite Jacka, which of course that happened. Um, everybody who wanted to see Granite Jacka out, myself included, um, was just like, yeah, great job. You know, I'm so glad that you could do this when it didn't matter. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it was, it was everything that I expected. Um, I, I think I put one nil to the arsenal in my prediction, but that was just me being, you know, based off of old, based off of form that we saw against Nottingham Forest, you know, that was what was to be expected. So, um, yeah, you know. And uh, Bakayo Saka actually showed up. That was cool to see him um, absolutely roasting on the right wing. It was it was absolutely incredible to see. So um, hopefully he can carry that into um, not only next season, but uh, the game that I'm going to in D.C. And I think Gary's going to that one too, DWTT. So yeah, going to go see the Arsenal in person here in the next uh, couple of months. So uh, we got people coming in the back. So we're just going to start rolling them on in here. Um, I'm going to go probably six or seven max. So we have four waiting in the back. I'm going to bring them in one-on-one. So you legends in the back, I see you there. I see freaking Steve is already, he, he's pumping up. He's, he's getting his bagel down. He's ready to go. So uh, we'll go ahead and bring on the first legend. We'll bring him on in order of appearance in the back room. First, you saw him yesterday streaming with Lee during the watch along. You saw him on the American Idiot Show, and he is joining us back today. Maddie, the Southern Gooner. Welcome to the show, Maddie. Thank you for coming on, as usual, my brother. How are you? Well, I had to come on here and make amends for that foolish uh, <laughs> foolish pick I made this uh, this past week on the show. <laughs> I said a 1-1 one, one draw. I should have knew better. That, we uh, all should have knew better, man. Yeah, we all should have knew, knew better. better. Yeah. 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 But how's your weekend going? You good? Any any big plans hey, for bro. today other than other than streaming with us? Bro, I did barbecuing yesterday, man. Uh, I did barbecuing yesterday, man. I recorded a video this morning. It's up on the channel. Don't not sure if it, if people had a chance to see it, but it's up on the channel. Uh, re- reaction video to uh, to the brother yard man who got slaughtered over at uh, AFTV yesterday. <laughs> so I, I did a nice reaction video to that. Uh, and brother, I just uh, I have just been chilling today, man. Got up, folded some clothes, and that's it, man. You know, winding down, winding down. Hey. <laughs> now the season is, is over with. So, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, no. yesterday was yesterday was a uh, yesterday was a strange man. It was very strange to to see the crowd. You know, and you're privy to concerts over here, like I am in the states, and you know how they, you know they. They hype up the Super Bowl. It looked like the Super Bowl halftime show yesterday at at the Emirates. It was it was really embarrassing, man, to watch that. You know, people were jumping around and screaming and jumping, and you know, and it was just it was shocking. It was shocking. It really was. And it and it, it really you know people are running running this narrative now that oh man you know 
Y'all are not satisfied. Y'all are just grumpy old men. You're upset. And, you know, y'all can't get on board. And, you know, the club, you know, I didn't see this until after we got off the air yesterday. Uh, that video they rolled out talking about together and all this and this young and the restless music and stuff that they had up, on, up under that stuff with Arteta, man. And it's just the PR machine. You know, the PR machine seems to be getting worse at this club, TJ. It seems to be getting worse. And uh, I just, I really hope, I really hope, man, that people understand what we're in for next year. Uh, Pochettino just arrived this morning. So immediately the landscape changes. Immediately the landscape changes. Liverpool's, they're like a hornet. They're pretty mad because they're in Europa League. So they're going to, they're going to make adjustments. I don't know what Spurs is going to do, but I would assume they'll probably try to fix whatever problem, they, whatever, whatever they're dealing with down there. City is still going to be around. Manchester United is going to be better. You know, I said in my video, Manchester United has had a better year than we have. They this this is the this is the way it needs to be said going forward. Stop referring that we that we refer, referencing that we came in second place. Just simply say we qualify for Europe. That yep. just need that's all you need to say. Hey, we, we qualify for Europe. That's no different than second, third, or fourth. And I've also was was while I was folding clothes, I came up with something new. Let me. We're gonna, we're me. gonna call this. We're gonna Hit call me. this. We're gonna call this the the Southern Guna explanation of of uh, aspirations. So, if you're the first place team, your aspirations should be to win the title or league, whatever whatever league you're in, and B compete for whatever cups that are available. Right. Okay. If you're in second place and you're chasing, then you should be competing for cups and trying to pip whoever's number one. If you're in third place and you think you can catch second or first, you should try to go for it while competing for cups and challenging. If you're in fourth place, we know obviously you're trying to hold, get the fourth place spot for for. Uh, for Europe, and you need to be challenging for a cup as well. TJ, my problem, brother, is that we were in first place 248 days, and we threw away cups, and we stopped challenging. That left us in second place, and we had nothing else going on. You know, what makes me matter that today – then this past week is that I have to sit here and watch Manchester United go for two cups. Yep. Our season just ended yesterday. All we did was qualify for Europe. That's all we did. We've been on, yeah, and I, you know, and here's the thing is, like, you you mentioned Manchester United. We have one guy in the back that's a Manchester United fan. I'll bring him on here in a few minutes. He's smirking. I can see it. Um, Big, big up to him, though. But yeah, no, our season ended. Our season ended back in April. Apparently, that that that's the thing that that's the thing that kills me, Matt. You know, is that we 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 checked out. Heartbreak yeah. hotel settings, man. And it was it's just one of those things where uh, have we learned our lesson? And we're gonna learn. We're gonna learn real quick yeah. at the beginning yeah. of next season whether or not we have. All right, um, guys, we're gonna bring on the next guest. He has limited time, so we are going to get him in here and get his opinion out there. Coming to you live from, I believe, India, right? The most articulate person on YouTube. Many Thendigori, everybody. The most, the most Money. articulate individual. Manny, how are you doing, man? Yeah, all good, all good. First of all, I hope you, um, I mean, I can't say that Memorial Day is a day for enjoyment because I think I mentioned it in the chat. You mourn those who um, gave all and it's a sort of a day of reflection and I hope, um, you know, it's a more productive, um, day in some respects, but, uh, Hey, it's a long weekend as well. Uh, I especially want to big up, uh, Mr. Odom for, I mean, I've now, I think I've been on his um, channel twice and we've had some really wonderful conversations and I'm really uh, pumped to do it again. I think he's got some good stuff coming up in the summer. Been a long time since I've come on your channel, Mr. Warren and, um, good to be back. 
for now. I'm glad to have you. Glad to have you. How are you feeling about uh, after all the results yesterday? I'll tell you what. As far as Arsenal are concerned, I'm just glad the season's over. And look, last season we beat Everton 5-1 when it didn't really matter. I mean, technically, of course, we did have something to play for. And we were hoping that, um, you know, Spurs would um, choke. Uh, but then they ended up winning their game by to the tune of 5 um nil i think and so they snatched our champions league position from us this time around what's even more depressing is that we had nothing else to play for and after an almighty bottling of the league i mean it really was um you know just a case it was just a case of you know showing up to say thanks for the season and there should have been a much changed team but arteta saw it fit to start the same uh uh bunch of scoundrels who lost to Nottingham Forest and that meant uh, a cruel disgusting 10 minute cameo for Kieran Tierney near the end I hope he goes to a new club and comes back and reminds us um, how shabbily he was treated I mean it, I know it sounds like a horrible thing to say because you know the club is the star but when you see some players who are actually being treated horribly you cannot help but feel for them and I'm not about to you know um simply defend the manager by saying it's the manager's call. The manager is also an expendable commodity, mind. So um, I wasn't really bothered. It was just as well that I couldn't see the uh, last game because it wasn't being screened where I was. So um, I uh, didn't get to see those sycophantic so-called supporters cheering for the team, saying, thank you very much. We're all so proud of you. Granite Jacker, please stay with us. Where the hell were these idiots? When the team went down 2-0 against Brighton at the Emirates that day, I'll tell you where they were. On the way home. So-called fans. It's hard. I mean, I suppose I could be happy for um, uh, Aston Villa under the ex-Arsenal manager Unai Emery. What a recovery. From relegation trouble to European qualification, what a season. Still rather defensive, too defensive, and that could be his undoing. But uh, there is no denying that tactically he is exceptionally smart and knows how to, uh, you know, outwit some opposition and get the best out of, out of the players he has. Manchester City, they also, you know, took it very lackadaisically. They put out a disgrace of a team, really, against Brentford and ended up uh, losing to them twice this season and, and let that sink in Brentford did the double over Manchester City and we got slapped 7-2 on aggregate I'm trying not to think about that Manny I'm trying not to think about that let me bring in the next guest you know him and then I'm just going to bring on the other two because you know what I, I'm just tired of I'm just tired of, watch, of watching them sit there on their phones to be 100% honest with you I see him in the lower screen you know it's it's hilarious to watch him. So making his TJ Warren TV debut, and we got to do something a little bit more organized than this. But uh, me and him have been trying to connect um, to do a to do a, a more organized show the last couple of weeks. But bringing him on, Manny, you know him. This guy, unfortunately, he's a Man United fan, but nobody's perfect. Oris, Oris, everybody. Big up, man. Big up, man. Big up. Big up. Big up, man. Thank you so much for coming on. And we're going to bring everybody else in, too. We got Strasbourg Steve. Hey, what's up, people? What's the, going on? The, 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 the goose to my Maverick. That is all I'm going to say, <laughs> baby. And then we got Central Man Network. Central what's up? Man Network. I'm what's good. up, man? What's up, all bro? right, we're going to go around the horn. <laughs> um, Oris, how you doing, man? How you feeling? Are you are you happy that Man, man United technically had a better season than Arsenal? Like, g- give me Give me your thoughts. What are your thoughts? I'm feeling great. Um, we'll see United. There's a lot of discussion, man. A lot of discussion. For me, personally, it's Man United, man. For me, it's Man United. But yeah, I yeah, agree. yeah. We've had a fantastic season. We're on the course to win two trophies and Arsenal. Big fish to fry. I don't know. <laughs> Can somebody tell me where that fish is now? But yeah, listen. Um, but I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. I'm glad to hear that, man. And, you know, like, Man, man United, I've, I, I'm in a lot of Man United, like, Instagram chats, especially the one with, with you guys, and you guys are saying you're in crisis. There, There is a little bit of a, 
you know, of a where do we go from here mode with with Eric Ten Hag, but we can get into that. I think I think Men United, considering what you guys had to deal with in a new manager, had an extremely successful season. I am I am of the opinion that there is no such thing as a Mickey Mouse Cup. Um, I'm no, there, there is yeah. So um, some some of our some of our friends that we stream with might might say that and just be like, oh no, League Cup is a Mickey Mouse Cup. Well, no. It's something that you can put in your trophy case and actually exists, whereas a top four trophy does not. So, you know, it, it, it's one of those things where the whole bigger fish to fry thing, um, Arsenal uh, will be, Arsenal fans will be eating those words for a long time, unfortunately. Um, Steve. And we deserve to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah yep. you're right. And we'll get into that too. Steve. What's up, excellent bro? shirt excellent shirt man how's your weekend yeah. going you doing all right yeah i'm good man i'm good i've been trying to go to bed because obviously i work overnights but it's just not happening today for whatever reason so i'm chilling man i'm chilling i got work in what seven hours so yeah it is what it is man i'm i'm all right i'm all right well yeah just make sure you're taking care of yourself sleeping water you know those, those things those it, things it's are called good. being a young buck man you yeah. can do that yes it is yes it is try to over 40 let me know how to work out for you hey 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 never ever take your age for granted you are never too young to have a breakdown Mahala, you better take care of yourself son yeah. life is too well, short i am i am yeah. that's it i if i would it, it, if 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 I could get to bed right now, I would, but it's just not happening. Just the, the brain, the brain, right? I know, I know how it is. I got, yeah. I got a circus going on up there, one on like twenty four seven. Central yeah. Man Network mm -hmm. making his triumphant return after last week's call in show. How are you doing, man? You doing all right? You having a good yeah, weekend? Good. Yeah, yeah, I had a good weekend. Um, um, I watched, um, I watched, I watched the um Everton Bournemouth game. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought that Everton's gonna go down. If they do, they're gonna end up like it's gonna fuck them financially because they're gonna about to move their new stage in about what, about a year or two. Uh, yeah. Luton Towns in the um, Premier League now. They beat um, oh, Carlton yeah. City on, uh, at the, in the playoffs on penalties. Yeah. Um, Arsenal <laughs> celebrate the silver medal, like you know, silver medals, like, I don't know, we get a silver medal or finish in second in the Premier League. I thought we were going to get gold medals if we win the league. Um, I think, um, congrats to, um, you know, congrats to, um, I think it's Villa and um, Brighton. I think they're in the, um, the in Europe, you know. Yep. Good. Good. I, I'm going to say that the Serbian man, I think he's going to be a good coach, man. I think he's, um, like, he busts his ass. He kind of... Continue what Potter started at Brighton and, you know, see what Brian can do in the next few years. I think they'll probably, I don't think they'll probably win. I don't think they'll probably win Europe, go like win the Europa League. They'll probably like do well. They're probably like getting like into that knockout stage. You know, it's good for like, they've got a good stage in like uh, the, uh, I think it's the IMAX is called. But um, yeah, um, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, glad the season is over. You know, we've got, like, yeah, um, we got well two more months until the Women's World Cup in Austria and New Zealand, and a few weeks, a few months until the Rugby World Cup in France. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty to talk about. I think you know it, it's one of those things where a lot of YouTubers are like, "Oh, thank God, the season's over." It's like, no, it never ends. It never ends because next we get to talk about transfers. Next we get to talk about you know we're gonna speculate on final. how next season's gonna go. Yeah. The FA Cup final. We have the Europe, the um, the UCL final. We have all sorts of game, huge games left, and you know we might be doing watch alongs for that. Uh, I'm definitely going to do a watch along for the 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 derby for the FA Cup final. City yeah. are going to destroy. I think. I think they're going. They're getting. They're getting that. They're getting that treble, ladies and gentlemen. They're getting that treble. Don't count um, out Inter. Don't count out Inter. Don't oh, count. I'm counting them out. I'm counting them out. They're done. Oh, no, 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 no. It's no. it's it's that's, it's over. That's your first mistake, bro. You tell Italians to defend. What do they do? They defend. And hey, and man. you and you know the other thing too. You know the other thing too is which team has done the double over Man City this year? Brentford. What formation do they play? I don't know. I don't want to watch enough Brentford. Mr. B, can you tell us? Three five two. Three five two wing backs. Direct football. Uh, how to interplay? 
352 direct football and they have the luxury of swapping out both of those strikers and fullbacks for ones with more energy and they've got midfield depth with Brozovic, Chalanoglu, Mikatarian and Barella. And Barella is not a it, it, none of the none of those guys are are, are bums. So, yep. Keep Matty, who do you, Matty, who do you think's going to win the Champions League? Uh it's Malai. Okay, I got to hear why, because I because everybody ever I, I think Man City have it locked up, but tell me why. No, no. Uh, well, one Steve alluded to earlier is defending. They they're going to defend no matter what. This is basically that's their bread and butter. They're going to yeah. defend. It is on record that City has trouble with teams that play a three five two. They've got two. Com- they've got two actual solid strikers. You know, uh, uh, I can't call his name out. Uh, what, Steve, what's, what's my Italian, name? Italian, Chalanoglu. No, no. What's his name to play for Argentina? Oh, Lotaro Martinez. Yeah, Lotaro. Yeah. 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 He's, he's a little bit erratic, but he's going to give them trouble. Then you've got, you know, uh, Lukaku knows City. He Off knows. the bench. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, so, yeah, I, I, I think that, you know, they've got Filippo and Zaghi there, you know, lead, leading them up. You know, I, I, it's, 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 City may win, but it will not it be. will not be easy. It's not going to be like, oh, they're going to roll seven nothing. No, 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 no. Far from it. Far from it, man. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be a really. I think we have a really good Champions League game. I'm going to tell you something else too. I think they're going to have trouble with the United game because your season's over. With. United, United's going to lock in. They want to win two, two. They want to get two titles, two cups this year, and uh, that's bragging rights. That's bragging rights, and yeah. you know. Mm-hmm. They're, they're going. They're going to be up for it too. So I think these last two games are going to be very critical uh, coming up for City because now the season's over with. Everybody's mindset changes. Inter Milan, they want to double. So you know, like I said, I, I think it'll be a little tougher than 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 than, uh, than what people make it out to be. That's what I'm saying, bro. And also, last week they played the Coppa Italia final, Fiorentina. Scored in the opening uh, 10 minutes, I believe. Uh, who was it? It wasn't Martinez Quattro. It was, it was some other guy. I forget his name. But they scored in the opening 10 minutes. The thing I like about Inter, their heads don't go down. Their heads don't go down. So even if Manchester City take that 1-0 lead, I don't think Inter will be phased. They'll obviously be like, oh, yeah, we don't want to be losing. But that's so not Steve, game over if they score first. So, Steve, you're going Inter then? Actually, yeah. All right. Well, hey, man. Right. You know, hey, 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 TJ, remember in, in the group, man, I told y'all Inter was going to be AC Milan. Told I y'all know. That I know you did. I remember that. I remember that. All right, let's go. Let's just keep going around the horn. Monty, what do you think? How do you think this uh, Champions League final is going to shake out? Oh, I don't even want to talk about that because, <laughs> I mean, I, I do. I do. Don't get me wrong. But um, all I keep hearing is Manchester City, Manchester City, Manchester City. I am hopeful that Inter Milan with our um, uh, with, with our ex-midfielder, Henrik Mkhitaryan, can, uh, you know, cause a shock. I think Mickey's out for the final, though. But uh, um I think uh, Makala has a point because the last time City played in the final, of course, they lost to um, the now current, or could once again be, uh, could be former Bayern Munich manager, who um, set his team up well against um, Guardiola's men. But Guardiola also made a bit of an error by leaving his creative players on the bench for the most part. I think she, he's not going to make the same mistake again. But when it comes to Inter Milan, uh, Steve does make a really good point that they're past masters in the art of def- defending. And they're going to make sure that they have a plan to counter the uh, front three of Haaland and maybe Grealish and um, who else would be on the right? Uh, it's either De Vries uh, or Cherby. A Cherby, De Vries, and Bastoni will probably be their back three. No, I'm talking about City's um, front three. Oh, sorry. Oh, don't talk about it. Uh, on the right. That's all good. Uh, it won't, it won't be Riyad Mahrez, but it'll be someone different, I think. Silva, um, maybe? Maybe Bernardo yeah. Silva. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, of course, <laughs> let's not forget that ashes to ashes and dust to dust. If Haaland won't score, someone else must. Mm-hmm. So Haaland isn't just the only attacking threat, but Inter Milan have been able to um, withstand uh, some really good um, attacks during their run to the final. 
and in Andre Onana, they've got um, a goalkeeper who looks oh. to be well rejuvenated, returned to some wonderful form, and uh, basically proving who needs to play for Cameroon when I can win a Champions League with Inter Milan. <laughs> so uh, I want to see Inter continue to um, do what they can and make sure they uh, uh, do what they do best and make sure they uh, stifle um, City. Uh, and if they're able to um, frustrate City for long enough, as we can all agree, they can start to crack a little bit. The, for City's defence, it has become a little bit more solid, and Kyle Walker has become more of an important figure, although that's probably due to the fact that Nathan Aki being injured meant that Manuel Akanji had to move from right back to left back. But um, again, you know, they are still capable of... Uh, you know, I'm um, cracking if you put to put a bit too much pressure on them. And uh, it's all it's all about how Inter will deal with the attack and the midfield. And I think, you know, Inter's midfield has pretty much been their fulcrum. So it will be interesting to see if, um, as Steve mentioned, the five man midfield will be able to nullify cities. So Guardiola might once again look to play a 4 2 3 1 with Stones um, coming in. If not a 4-2-3-1, then maybe a 3-2-4-1 or however that rubbish works. I mean, with no wing backs, it's going to be a very big risk. But uh, he will probably ask a little bit too much of uh, De Bruyne and uh, whoever will be playing on the left that day. I don't think it's going to be good. It could be good. It could be Gundogan who plays on the left. Inter's defense is better than Manchester City's defense. The local Badger's, Badger's got it spot on. So I am going for Inter to win a tight game. I certainly don't see this as a free-flowing attacking game. I believe uh, Champions League finals are very rarely free-flowing attacking games. The rare ones that are are not really uh, ones that are worth um, watching, to be uh, if you ask me, because not because one team will probably not be playing well enough to uh, keep it tight. Um, I'm going to go for Inter to win and. Uh, they should do so by a two-one scoreline. It could very well be that tight. All right. No, that's a, that's a great prediction. Um. All right. We got twenty-five inside. Smash the likes up and sub to all of these gentlemen here. I think everybody here has their own, has their own channel. So, uh, yeah. Smash smash the likes up for everybody. Southern Goody, Matt Manor, or Manny. Blah, 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 sorry. Um, Oris, Oris talks football, making his first appearance. And then we got Strasburg, Steve, and Central Man Network. So smash the likes up and smash subs to all of these gentlemen. Oris, Oris, do you want to see your neighbors win the Champions League? Or do you want to see them fail spectacularly to the Italians? Give, give, us, your, give us your thoughts. On that night, I will be Forza Inter, man. Forza Inter. <laughs> On that night, Inter Milan, Inzaghi. Listen, I, I'm praying, but um, no, it's going to be a great win, you know, but I just think for me, it, it comes down to the midfield, you know. Whoever wins that midfield battle wins the game because Inter, you see the couple of players like Brozovic, Barona, Mkhitaryan, former United players, so don't let me down. Lukaku, <laughs> don't let me down Lukaku, but I don't know, man, but... Um, it's going to be a great final, but I, I, I believe Inter will win. Um, City, they don't have that heritage, you know. I think Inter, you know, if you, if you want to compare heritage, I think Inter have, have a bit more. But, yeah, I'm going to be forced to Inter. I'm going to be an Inter Milan fan. So, I'm praying, man, but I do believe that Inter will actually win this, you know. I think it'll be an edgy game. I think it'll be, if I have to go with a score prediction, it'll probably be like a 1-0 Inter. So, yeah, I'm backing Inter to win this game. Yeah, you think you think it's gonna be that tight? I don't think it's gonna be that tight. The football that Man City have been playing with their with their top eleven, you know, with their original starting oh, yeah. eleven, they they they're just a scoring machine, you know. But I do agree that it is one and lost in the midfield. So we'll we'll see. I I'm I'm per, I'll give my prediction now. I'm personally going um, three to two Man City, but we'll, we'll we'll see. I think it's gonna. I honestly think it's gonna be a shootout. I I really do. I'm really looking forward to that game. It's gonna be great to watch. Um, okay, and then last but not least, <coughs> Central Man Network. How are you feeling about this UCL final coming up? Um, I don't know. This is uh, this is um this is net to net between uh, City and Inter Milan. Um, I think this is like they're going for, like City is going for the treble. Like they got the FA Cup this weekend, 
and then the Champions League net, uh, net uh, this week, uh, next week, yeah. Um, I think Inter, I think, they, I think they won, did they won, I think they're in the Coppa Italia final, I think they won a, a cup. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This Wednesday. This Wednesday. Yeah, the Tom Martin. The Tom Martin. Like, two goals. Two goals. Yeah. Two goals. Okay. Uh, and also, there's another. There's the. Actually, there's a European final this this Wednesday. It's the Europa League final. Yeah, Roma. Roma. Yeah. yeah. Mourinho. But back to the Champions please. League. Um, I think it's go down to like net to net. You know who won it more? Like, City haven't really won the Champions League yet. You know, they, they haven't won the European trophy for since the 70s. You know, I love you know, heritage. <laughs> yeah, foot, foot heritage. Um, Inter Milan haven't won the um, a European trophy since the days of Jose Mourinho. I think, you know, it's, it's really go down like, like Inter, you got like Tara, Latara Martinez, Edin Dzeko, Bistomi. What's that? What's that goalkeeper's name? Uh, Anana. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Anana. Um, what's, it, what's his name? Uh, Spinner. What's that player? I think he's still at the club, but is he? Is it is Jacko in still at the, at the club? Jacko, Jacko, you got Robin Gersens, you've got Federico Di Marco, who is a phenomenal yeah. left wing back, it's, absolutely phenomenal guy. Can hit a cross, good. defend. He's good. He's 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 solid. Bar- 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 to watch for me. Bar- 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 is fantastic. Yeah. Barella yeah. could yeah. play for any of our teams. Barella would like, start. Oh, 100%, man. Teams. I have yeah. to watch he, for the McTominay like, every single week. So yeah, like some of the. Uh, yeah, some of the Italian players are, are the masterminds in beating England in the Euros two almost two years ago. Um, I think I think this is going to be I don't know. This is difficult. Like yeah. my gut think like my you know I think it was like my gut was going I'm going for like a Man City win, but I think Inter probably can snatch it. You know, probably like a, a two one. You know, like it's really funny. Like, they're going for the treble that Manchester United did it 24 years earlier in 1999. You know, yeah, yeah, no, and and it, it's one of those things where you can it's going to be a great game. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like a, a good play, like a good bet that I can throw like 10 bucks on. You know, both um, teams to score, yeah. Well, that's that's easy, baby. That's easy. That's that, that that'll be like a four dollar return on a ten dollar bet. That's no, I don't think so. You don't think so? Hey, look yeah, look up the line on that. Look up the line on that. Yeah, While you do sense. that, let's be, let's bring in my co-host with the most Dow, aka up, we're, talking, we're, we're talking UCL. Do you have any do you have any predictions? I'm thinking two one enter. Two one what? A lot of people in the chat are going city. A lot of people, a lot of people in the chat are going city, but everybody here thinks inner except for me. I think city are going to win. I didn't realize I put on city colors this morning when I got. Yeah, oh, my so, goodness. Sorry, oh my guys. goodness! Oh I my just goodness! I realize that. Crazy. But um, I'm just thinking two one. I just think Inter are pretty well drilled, and I think Bastoni is a great defender. And um, I just I don't know, man. I just think that this is a time for City to maybe drop the ball. Because, like even Central said, they don't have as much experience as some of these players do in the champion, you know, in championship competition. I'm trying to really think who the only one really is a Champions League winner out of all of them would not even a winner would be Holland, right? right? I mean, I'm sure there's some other players there, but if you think about it, like, like City haven't been to a Champions League semifinal or a final in quite a while, if ever, right? So, I just think that. The, the organization of Inter, um, the movement of Lukaku, Martinez could be really difficult for City's defense. Lukaku's looking on the ball. I think he's got four goals in five or six games or something like that. I mean, Manny or Steve would probably know the exact number, but I know Lukaku's in form right now. He's, yeah. he's a top striker when he's in form. Uh, he's a big guy. He can push around Diaz. He can push around John Stowe. Um I don't know. I think it's 2-1, man. I really do. I think Inter can pull it out. I just think, too, that their midfield's just a little bit more organized, a little more stronger on the ball. I watched Inter on Saturday. They played Atalanta, and they were up 2-0 within the first five minutes, and both of their goals, and a lot of Lukaku's goals lately have been counterattack. They're sitting deep. They counter. Lukaku holds up, just fucking barges guys, and then holds up, pass to to Lotaro, and then Lukaku gets played in. That could easily happen to City, and that and it makes a lot of sense because that's the situation Inter are going to find themselves in. They're not going to have a lot of possession, but when they have the chance to, if Lukaku is going to start for them, 
which I'm not sure if he is or isn't. Jekko, I, I definitely know Lataro is. Lataro will definitely start, but. But Jekko is even a threat, too. I mean, you bring him yeah. on in the 75th minute or something when it's 1 1, and that's a, yeah. you know, that's a whole different problem. And he has a lot of um, European experience, obviously. Clutch moment. A yeah. little bit of City, I think, in the, for maybe the first couple of years he was there. And, of course, with Inter and uh, close between Inter. I think he was somewhere else between Inter and Roma, wasn't he? Maybe not. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I think he's got a good point. And Lukaku is very similar in ways to Holland. He doesn't score as many goals, obviously, and is a, isn't as mobile. But he's a big, strong player. And, like Steve said, if he can get the ball at the halfway line, push Diaz around, there's, some, there's something there. Yeah. 100 percent all right before we, we're gonna have a little bit of a rotating cast today i know um manny has to leave and so does oris so i want to bring up um the fa cup before we really get into um some arsenal talk because um after after oris leaves it's it's pretty much going to be arsenal only um except for steve which uh he listens to our bs all the time anyway so um so uh, let's go around. I want to I want to do a, a similar thing to what we just did, but let's talk about the FA Cup. Man City versus Manchester United. I think, and I'm just going to give my opinion again. Man City are going to win the trouble. I hate to play spoiler alert to people. Okay, they are an unstoppable force, meeting a definitely movable object in Man City er, in Man United. Sorry, Oris, and I'm going to go to you first. <laughs> um so so I, I think FA Cup it's gonna be three one city. Um first of all I want to ask Oris, are you gonna go, are you going to Wembley? Second, give your predictions. One probably not because the ticket prices are mad, mad high. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um number two for me it comes down to who scores first. If we let City score first. It's theirs, my opinion, because what I see from these lot is whenever we can see first, our heads drop. It's similar as that. Whenever we play the big teams and they score first, our heads drop. But I think we'll be up for it. We'll definitely be up for it. If these lot are not up for it, because we're, there's players out there in interviews that like Luke Shaw and others saying, oh, they, the players know that they, they don't have to win this to stop the trouble from City. Then, OK, do the talk on the pitch. So, ah, uh, for me... I'm going to back us. I'm going to back us. I, I'm going to say 2 1 United. I'm going to back us. Man. I'm, I'm going to back, back us. But yeah, it's, I, everyone will be watching. Like, that's for sure. Everyone will be watching. But oh. these players, man, if, they, if, if they're not up for it, that for me, they need to go. I, I, whether it's Bruno or I don't know. But they have, well, all of them have to be up for it. And Tenog, he needs to be up. He needs to have it. 10 out of 10. I need, I'm expecting 10 out of 10 tactics from Tenog. And all customer has to be a ten out of ten on his day because the midfield for me, man, is, we need to control that midfield. So yeah, we just need a lot of players to be up for it. It's a big task. Yeah, it's a huge task. So so uh you're gonna come on our, our Man United uh uh keep sell bench show. Uh me and Dal are gonna host a series of shows where we, we invite other supporters on and we we tell them how they should manage their team and then you guys will give your opinions on that uh but yeah or us we'll figure that out man and now and you know i'm am i hoping united win it i i i honestly i honestly couldn't care less because we didn't get any trophies so like whether or not did he do it or, or united do it it really doesn't make a difference to me but at the same time like just for just for the fact that i want to see some some legendary stuff happen i think man city are gonna do it Plus, TJ, you know, if we lose, you got you got them in the Community Shield, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I, I don't want to talk about the Community Shield. The problem is <laughs> – well, no, no, actually, that's what I did. I'm going to United now because the problem is – and I talked to you guys about this earlier. <laughs> Manny, Manny did on, on, on Matt's show too, is that if, if we go to the Community Shield against City and we win – this fan base is going to just be stupid and they're going to all of a sudden the community shield is going to be the champions league final. You know, it's, it's just so rich. That's probably going to be the bigger fish. Yeah. It's going to be the bigger fish. That's going to be the plate. The community shield is going to be the plate that the fish is served on. Like it is just so ridiculous. The narrative that is going to come out of that. So, you know what? No, I'm hoping for man United to win now. No, good point. Good point. Good point. Maddie, what do you think? 
what are you thinking about the the FA Cup, man? Uh, man, I, I'm like you, man. I really want United to win. One, I just want to see City flop on both cups. Just so it'll give me some form of I feel better. You will be there. You know, therapy, yeah. Yeah, a little yeah. therapy. But yeah, I, I think that uh United's going they're gonna make make it a little tough, man. When they get into uh when they when they don't have any pressure on and they they're going for cups, they'll 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 uh they'll perform. Uh I think Rashford's due for another one of those pop up deals <laughs> and, and he gets to rolling and you know how it is when he gets to rolling. Uh realistically, man, I, it's probably City's probably gonna win the FA Cup. Like I said, I don't I don't think they're gonna win the Champions League, but I think they'll win the FA Cup. Now, I want I, I want to say this too. Last go around, I think if they lose that Champions League, we're gonna everybody's gonna feel the wrath of that next season because they they're gonna really try to go. They're gonna go PSG mode. And they're gonna start loading up across the board. So, you know, it's just something we have to keep in mind. But no, I think I think that uh, it'll be a good game. I think City will probably pull it out. It'll be more or less three two two one ordeal. Uh, and that'll be that, you know. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if you're not at one. Wouldn't surprise me. It's a derby. Derby's gonna go either way. So, yep. Form, form goes out the window. Form goes yep. out the window. Steve O. I'm saying I'm gonna go just to break Oris' heart, and I actually do think the game was passed. <laughs> so it's gonna be one-one. Man City on penalties. De Gea is going to make a blunder in this game. I tell you what, that's something else you can also put 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 a custom bet on or something. I think De Gea is going to make an error in this game. And maybe then your fan base will realize, oh, shit, maybe we do need a goalkeeper in the summer. Maybe we do need someone that's younger to, to, to start learning off him because these big games, I'm thinking of the Sevilla game, man. You can't be de- – can't be doing that like like it's just the West Ham game. I mean, there are a lot of others, bro, with with De Gea making errors. He's a fantastic shot stopper. No one's gonna take that away from him. But the errors are just too costly for me. Um and I think Man City they've won the FA Cup before, so I kind of trust them to do it more. You guys have though, obviously, you know, but I don't know. I think it'll be a really tight game. I, I do think Manchester United will make it ugly. I could even see them scoring first, but um, yeah, I think it's going to be one-one. Uh, Man City on penalties. Hey, mm. that's, that's a good shout, though. I mean, Man, yeah. Man United tend tend to keep it tight, especially in these cup games. Yeah. Um, at least Brighton, so far, they, they 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 took Brighton to pens also. So I don't know, but I do see a goal. I do see a goal for both. So all right. And while we bring in our next guest, I'm going to ask Manny to give his his thoughts. But first, he's a Spurs fan. He is brave to come back to TJ Warren TV amongst all the Gooners. Elias, give it up for Elias, everybody. Give it up. Hello, everyone. What's up, Elias, brother? Big up, you know, Elias. I, I'm, I'm brave enough even to wear Arsenal shirt at Spurs Channel. What are you talking about, bro? Yeah, I saw that. That's, that's, yeah, so you'll never see me do that ever. But we'll get we'll get to you. we'll get to your thoughts here in a minute. Um, Elias, you never know, TJ. Someone might dare you to do that. I'm not. I'm not. I don't make bets like that. I don't make bets like that. Uh, you will never. You will never see <laughs> top me. Top man. Top man. In that. In that. In that. But Manny, give us give us your thoughts. I know you and Oris got to head out your uh, to do your own show. So give us your thoughts. Man. Yeah. Um, listen, I think uh, it was uh, Steve who said that City have won the FA Cup before. But let's also not forget that they actually contrived to lose an FA Cup yeah. to a, t- a final to a team, which Wigan. got relegated that same season. <laughs> Wigan, right? Yeah, yeah. Wigan. Yes, yeah. Bobby Martinez in one of his first, one of his few successes before somehow going on to take the Belgium and now Portugal jobs. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I don't know what those national teams see in the guy. Does he really look that good? That is quite an advancement, isn't it, Manny? That's a very <laughs> – from Wigan to, the, to Belgium. Yeah. Madness. <laughs> you can't write this stuff up. Crazy old Yeah. Man. Actually, of course, um, a DVS, he went from uh, uh, Wigan to Everton where – Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, yeah. It was meh a little bit. It was the and, Everton uh, it just goes to- one of the Belgium job. 
Maybe, yeah. So I think it just goes to show that City are more than capable of choking. And for David De Gea, read Edison Moresh, also very capable of an utter moment of madness. Um, I could um, see a goalkeeping error from him. I'm going to go for Manchester United to win 2-1 because they've got history to defend. They've got their reputation to defend. And let's not forget, um, it's not like either team has done the double over the other. Their record this season has actually been split, uh, especially with um, United coming back from the brink to pull up a fine uh, 2-1 win at Old Trafford. So I think um, uh, Ten Hag's going to have to really... um, tactically look at what um, formation would best work. Uh, if not some, I mean, maybe not so much the formation, but the personnel. Um, there has been talk about um, Christian Eriksen not being able to start this game. I think when it comes to creative powers, he is probably uh, the most creative of the midfielders they've got. But I also recognize that with um, Fred and Casemiro, um, you get that um, sort of... Um, I don't know if you could necessarily call it dynamism, but um, certainly with Fred, you get some strength. With Casemiro, you also get a lot of enterprise. Um, I don't see why um, United can't play a 4-3-3 or maybe a um, 4-3-2-1, almost like um, a 4-2-3-1 of their own, rather. Uh, But uh, I I suppose Ericsson might not get a role to play, uh, unless, of course, he comes off the bench. And yet maybe there's a part of me that thinks it could be suicidal to keep a player of his ability on the bench um, because how else would um, you be able to unlock City's defence if he does, isn't able to spray those passes all the way from his own half? Um, I'd like to think that the um, defence with um, Lindelof having improved and Baran set to um, possibly uh, come back, um, they should be able to do more than a good job of holding... Um, holding City off and um, I'm going for a 2-1 United win here. I just think um, United will definitely be determined to end this season on a personal high for them. Uh, Return to the Champions League and two domestic cups, that's certainly not small potatoes and if it means that we won't get to play in the uh, Community Shield, then so be it. Besides, I don't want to play in that ridiculous game anyway. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, Oris. I know you got a. I know you got a jet, and Manny, you got a jet. Oris, shut your channel out first, and then and then Manny uh, follow directly after, and then we'll get back into some FA Cup conversation. I want to hear uh, from Central Man as well. So go ahead, uh, Oris. Yeah, no worries, man. Big up TJ fam, man. Honestly, baby. Uh, um, yeah, man. Big up to you. Yeah, my channel on YouTube, Oris Football. Make sure you check out if you haven't already. And yeah, man. Obviously, it's a pleasure. Uh, doing your show, TJ. Big up the panel. Um, yeah, man. Can, yeah, brother. Uh, yeah, or take... Oris is one of those guys that like saw one <laughs> saw one show and then immediately hit me up on Instagram and asked me if I wanted to join his show. So Oris is a big part of of helping people grow in this community. So again, yeah. thank you, Oris. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, man. Uh, no. man, many, many, many. Shout out, shout yourself out, man. Before you got to go, I know you're you're uh, you're Mr. Popular today. <laughs> I'm not really popular. I'm just uh, sort of booked, but it is what it is. Oh, and normally so I'd go on Oris. Yeah, but uh, normally I'd go on Oris stream, but sadly I had a prior invitation to come on another one. So, um, you know, first things first, I guess. But uh, yeah, you can catch me. I don't have a YouTube channel of my own, but you can catch me on several channels on YouTube. Big up to TJ. Thanks a lot for having me on. Big up, of course, to uh, Mr. Odin, the Southern Gooner. Been on his. Uh, uh, channel now about twice or thrice i'm really looking forward to continuing uh our uh, association it's always a pleasure to speak to him big up to mr mccarla i've come on a few of his watch alongs uh he can be a little bit uh eccentric for want of a nicer word but he's a pretty good fellow <laughs> and uh i do quite i do quite enjoy him big up as well to um elias i actually went on a stream of his um step up spurs where we were talking about the uh villa spurs game and it was good to uh um, be with him. We also come together as a Spurs and Arsenal fan on uh, Spurs U Asia TV with Eugene. Uh, big up to uh, Central and uh, Oregon Guna and um, everyone else in the chat. Um, anyone wants to come on, obviously, after Oris and I say goodbye, uh, please do please feel free. Um, also, shout out to the other channels Del Boy Gunner TV, S Beatley TV, obviously, Oris Talks Football, where I am a co host as well. And then Coach's Corner, um, Tony Claude Gunner TV, where which uh, Matt also knows. 
Danny AFC TV, up the cherries in all departments, which is where I'm heading next. It's a born of fan channel, AFC talk show TV, Villa TV. And uh, one thing I will say is that there is no channel too big, uh, too small that I'm not willing to um, participate on. I know um, there are some big accounts who prefer quality over quantity, but that's not the way to go. Any place to, um, you know, talk about football and meet some new people. You've always got to make sure you branch out a bit wide, and I'm grateful to every single one of these channels for having me on. Anyone I've missed, I'll send you a check in the post. And um, I also believe in being respectful. No banter from me. We've got to learn to um, disagree without being disagreeable. Otherwise, there's no point in having a discussion. Let's uh, knock the banter on the head, knock the snide and um, disrespect on the head and be um, you know, civil towards one another and respectful towards one another. Uh, big up once again to everyone in the chat. I hope our American friends have a good um, uh, remainder of their Memorial Day today and uh, something nice today to prepare for the week ahead. Um, to everyone else, um, take care of yourselves. Enjoy the rest of the week. Enjoy the uh, football or soccer that's on offer. And uh, don't do anything that um, us panelists wouldn't do. But it's time for me to bid you all adieu. All right. Thanks, Manny. Have a good rest of your Monday, my friend. And we will catch your shows Cheers, on playback. All right. Cheers, um, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. And this is the first time I'm able to actually say that, say this, um, because I haven't actually thought about it. Um, yeah, the, the StreamYard link is pinned. That's the first time I've said that. It's pinned in the chat. So anybody who wants to come on, we're gonna we're gonna do an additional three if anybody wants to come on and we'll go around we'll go around the horn. I want everybody to uh, get their opinions out there. So um, if you got to wait a little bit to get that out there, it's just a part of the process, to be honest. But uh, let's go ahead and big up Elias from Step Up Spurs, making his triumphant return to TJ Warren TV. Um, how are you feeling? How are you feeling about the FA Cup, man? We are on the FA Cup. Give your prediction. Look, as much as I want... Uh... Man United to lose. I also don't want Man City to win because if Man City win, you guys will beat Community Shield, <laughs> and I don't want that to see that. Those are like the two most hated teams: uh, Arsenal and Man United. Man United uh, that that I personally hate uh, a lot, a lot. Except that, yeah, you guys are fun, but yeah, your team. Uh, I would want Man United to win, just so you guys don't win a trophy. Yeah, in fall, <laughs> Community game. Shield is not a trophy. It is a trophy. It is a trophy. If you, if you count it, like, in terms of honors and stuff, it is a trophy. Yeah. So I would. DJ, you literally it. said there's no such thing as a Mickey Mouse trophy. Fuck you, on Not yeah. one game for community. One, it's, it's as good as the Audi Cup. Okay, I'm not yeah. going to count that. It's not as, as good as the Audi Cup. It's kind of, it's kind of lower than Audi Cup because Audi Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. It's okay. Wait a second. Now, now, you being a Spurs fan, I understand you put value in the Community Shield, the Audi Cup. <laughs> no, I Out of that, you have to play like some top teams like Bayern, Liverpool, Real Madrid, and so when your club gets as prestigious as our club, then you will view it as just a play. A, a go, a a go. Club, it's a monumental achievement, right? That that's a losing battle, man. You fight a losing battle, man. Let this let the Spurs fan have his cup, man. Let's he, let him enjoy. It. Let him have it, man. Let this, brother have, let this brother enjoy his little cup, man. That's all they got. Have that all year. That's all. That's all they got. Let him have no, it. So, so, no, so no. So I'm coming back to what TJ said. Uh, the community shield. You just win one game and you won that that particular shield. Uh, Audi Cup. You have to actually beat like some certain teams, like which includes Bayern, includes Real Madrid. It 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 was also. I think Napoli was in there and and few other teams. It like it's not as straightforward in terms of as a competition. So there's still some value that yeah, you beat certain teams and then you won it. Even though yes, I I agree that yes, it's not that great as a trophy. It's a Mickey Mouse or a trophy. But if you compare the the value of the two two for what you paid to win it, actually Audi Cup has a bigger value. Hey TJ. Quick, oh my uh, let me, let me oh, throw this out there. Jazz, help me, help me remember. Uh, you know, it's, it's been so long. 
the European Cup Winners Cup, it used to be all – was it all the champions that played each other? If, it was uh, all the cup winners. All the cup yeah, winners, yeah. right? All the cup winners played each other, right? That's the way the Champions League really should be set up. It should be the, all of the champions should be playing each other. I think, Matt, we should ditch the top four BS and just have first place, FA Cup winner, Carabao Cup winner. Those are the three that go to the Champions League. Yeah. That should be how it is. Yeah. That should be that, that. <laughs> I'm not sure yeah. about that because anybody could shit house their way. But to it didn't matter. And I'm, not, they, and I'm it, not. I'm not saying that it's bad. I'm just saying that that anybody could 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 really put put their first team out and win a league cup if they wanted to. That's all. Oh, I'm but saying. that's everyone. A lot else. of people don't oh, take that it? cup seriously, which is, is why it, well, no. It. But everyone would take it seriously if a Champions League spot. Right, right, right. right. If, they tied, if, they, well, if they tied, a, if they put a put like a European spot tied to that cup, it would be it create chaos. All right. Yeah. No, well, I mean, no, yeah, they, they do have a European spot. It's just for the Europa League, for the oh, Carabao League. Okay. Yeah. Well, I guess what, what Steve is trying to say is, like, let's say the winners of all the European competitions and the winners of all the all the domestic competitions, they should be the only one who go into the, yeah. Into the championship. Yeah. 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 But, there's a little sense to that. Sure. It's there's less money. And it's not happening for FIFA or UEFA in this case. Well, yeah. I think I honestly think, and and this has been brought up a couple of times, that I think the 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 league winners cup instead of instead of the second instead of the second place team in the Premier League, if um if the FA Cup and the uh, Premier League champion are the same, it needs to go to the League Cup winner. It it should be United. Yeah. On that team, I think to be one hundred percent honest with you, I don't want to see Arsenal in that game. I really don't. Like and just just because of the bullshit that we we are going to have to deal with, like as a fan base, like as real fan base, like like Jez, I know I think. And by by the way, big up Jez. Welcome to the call-in yeah, show. Thank you. Yeah, Anytime yeah, Jez in. is is in the call-in show, you know you know it's it, it's it's a big deal. So Jez, um, and then Central Man, I know you haven't talked in a minute, so I want to I want to get your opinion on this as well. And then obviously, big up Connor. You guys are coming in. I don't want to keep you guys in the back room. Uh, for two <laughs> um, so we will we'll, 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 we'll do our best to give everybody a chance to talk. But Jez. Um, I think you've given your opinion on this before, but I mean, do you want to see Arsenal in the Community Shield? Like, what are your opinions on that? It's not a trophy. It's um, as it was always called. It was the Charity Shield. It's done to raise money. It's not. It's not a trophy. Um, it's a big. It's a big silver platter on a bit of wood. <laughs> okay. That's it. I mean, basically, it's for carving your beef up on a Sunday lunch. Um, <laughs> so it's always been just like that. The fact, the fact that I just want to touch on this point about the European the European thing. It was always the European Cup was for winners of their respective country's league. The UEFA oh, yeah. Cup always for the team that came second. The teams that won their domestic cup not including the League Cup, was the Cup Winners' Cup. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. how it was. I The only reason it's all changed is because of UEFA wanting to raise more money. So that's yeah. when that's You have to remember, yeah. Great, uh, sorry, England, the only country... In the European Cup, the Champions League, that has the most teams. Spain doesn't, France doesn't, Italy doesn't, Germany doesn't. It's England. Yeah. Why? 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 Because they know having the top four teams that finish top four in the Premier League, they will get more views. Yeah. TV. That's fact. Yeah. It's all done for money. And I'm sorry, I think it's absolute rubbish, personally. Yeah, I think I, the fact that have they, UEFA have absolutely ruined it by not allowing teams. Like, for example, let's, let's, let's get it right. When, when West Man, right, um, back in the day, they won beat Arsenal in the FA Cup, yeah? yeah. They got in, they got in the second division. Right in uh, that year, 79 AC, they got into the cup. They had no other chance of getting in it. 
by but they won the FA Cup. And it made a big difference to West Ham United. So yeah. fair play to them. You know, um, nowadays, I just think it's a Mickey Mouse, absolute bullshit, corrupt, bloody um, Champions League. I really do. I, I, you know, um, Arsenal are going to be in it. Yeah, great. Big day. Um, and <laughs> unless we invest, we'll be out of it by Christmas. Yep. Yeah. I mean, no lies <laughs> told. No, one no lies told. told. Central yeah. man, central man, you've been waiting patiently. Yeah. I want to give you a, give mm-hmm. you a chance to shout out on this. What do you what do you, what are you thinking? Uh, Community Shield, Ar- Arsenal's chances on winning any trophies. I mean, what next season? What do you think? I mean, just just kind of open open the conversation here that I really wanted to get into is oh, yeah. um, uh, Community Shield. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, who put it in the chat? Luke James. Yeah, they described oh, it as Wembley. Wembley. They describe it as a curtain raiser for the upcoming season. Yeah, it's a day out at Wembley, but what for 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 charity? You know, yeah. it's not it's not for you know. You're not going. You might as well be going out there to see Live Aid. You know what I mean? TJ it's not, hates charity. Not, breaking news. Yeah. TJ yeah, so, hates charity. Yeah, breaking news. I, I like tax breaks, but I hate charity. Right? <laughs> um, Central, what do you think, man? The Community Shield. Yeah, that's just it's a it's a glorified soccer aid, man. It's just it's just a I don't know. It's just like it's not. We should have a. <laughs> you don't see Scotland doing that, you know, with um. They don't have like a community shield. It's just like you don't have the Scottish League winners taking on the Scottish Cup winners. We don't have. It's mostly is. It's just England. Why like the glorifying this? It's, I'm gonna say right now, the mainstream media kind of like like di- disrespect the FA Cup for years now. Like the FA Cup, you know, it's the oldest cup competition in the world. It's so it's older yeah. than the uh, Champions League. It's older than the league. It's older than the World Cup. You know, it's um. It's you know, the, like back in the eighties, and I think it was the ninety eighties, nineties. They kind of like made it into a glorified event. You know, the FA Cup. You know, they show like special shows. But right now, you don't. They don't do it. You know, it's, I think it's been disrespect. You know, I forgot. I also forgot my predictions of the FA Cup. You know, mm-hmm. but yeah. I think you know I'm gonna go with um I'm gonna go with um probably Man City getting the victory. You know, but anyway, it gets let's get back. I'll get back to it. But um, yeah, I think they um. I don't get the uh, yeah this community shield thing is uh, I think of people why they people glorify it it's just like it doesn't mean anything you know the super cup yeah. I prefer the UEFA super cup than the community shield at least the super at least the super cup it's more prestigious than the community shield community shield is all for charity man you know like back in what I watched this um this is back in the uh, this is like a couple of days ago I watched the um 91 community shield we shared it with Tottenham it's like what the fuck is what's that all about yeah, don't mean anything true. That's ridiculous. It's just like, like this, like I don't know who come up with this whole idea of this community shield. Like, why we never, why we never done an English Super Cup, like English Super Cup, the league. Why could it be like an English Super Cup, the league and the FA Cup winners fine for a cup, not this bullshit about charity. You know, it's just like ridiculous. You don't see it in Germany. Germany got the um the Super DFL their, their Super Future Cup. Football Liga uh, uh Super Pokal, yeah. Yeah, you, you, can got, I, can like, I just you don't see. Okay. Sorry, Central Man. I just want to. Mm-hmm. Sorry to break in. May I add that how the fact that the charity community seal was not a trophy, if it ends in a draw, it's shared. Ah. Shared. Yeah. If it, if we played, I don't know. If we ended up in the charity shield. Uh, community Shield is now called. Sorry, if we played, I don't know. If we played Man United and it's a draw, it's shared. So how can that be a trophy? Exactly. What it's not, we, it's not really a trophy. Haven't they, Jez? Haven't they changed it to penalties now? Because when we played yeah, Liverpool, it depends. When they we changed. played Liverpool in it, Jez. Yeah, yeah. When we played Liverpool and it was a, it was a draw. It, it, it may have changed. It may. I, oh, I, right, I, I'm right. totally wrong. I'm totally wrong. Yeah, I'm right. totally wrong. But it used to be, it used to oh, be. Oh, I've heard, yeah. Uh, used to be. It, yeah. when, when it was a charity shield, if it was a drawn game, it was shared. So that's not, to me, a trophy. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Jez, but Jez, Mikel, Mikel won it. So, like, we got to we gotta remember. He won it twice. So, yeah, he won it. Yeah, he got it. You know, it's no. A tro- it's a trophy, Jez. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I'm taking the absolute risk. Um, 
<laughs> um, all right, let's shout out our our, our new joint just because I haven't been able to do it uh, properly. Uh, we got Kyle Walsh, Gunner, and Connor coming on. We we now have the proper Irish representation on this show. Welcome back, Kyle. How are you, man? I know you've been extremely busy. So uh, I'm mean, to see your face, man. First of all, big up to you, TJ. Thanks so much for joining the show on this great panel of legends. And it went in the chat. I'm a bit running a bit late. The daughter arrived on my doorstep, TJ. So I just literally, she's going to Paris, the Disneyland. So I had to give her a few bob. So she's uh, <laughs> So, yeah, so I had to spend the last hour with her there. So she's gotten home. So I have an opportunity now to jump on and give my opinion. So uh, big up to you, Zod. Big up, buddy. Yeah, ab- ab- absolutely. And then, and then Connor, how are you How are you doing, man? You hanging in? You good? Yeah. Enjoying the last Monday? Yeah. Do you know what it is? Yeah, but a long, nice long weekend. So uh, season's now done, So which is, a, which is a good thing in my opinion. Uh, couldn't be asked to watch any more games with the fact that we weren't winning anything. And now we've got a summer full of transfer speculation and we're rooming with this player, we're rooming with that player. And uh, so that's going to be a whole spectacle. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for having me on, TJ. And of course, Legends in the panel as well. I'm a bit iffy today in terms of a bit sick. So if I seem a bit off, that's probably why. But big up to everyone in the panel, man. I want to say, yeah. Well, hi. Hey, well, the fact, that, the fact that you're here, man, I appreciate it every single time. Thanks, okay. Um, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, I want to I want to talk about this just just from an Arsenal perspective, if that's okay. Um, Elias, I know you know uh, you're, you're on. I'm on your Spurs shows all the time. Well, not your Spurs shows particularly. I'm working. Yeah, on yeah. But you know, I want us to rate. I want us to get to give Arsenal two ratings. I want two ratings. Okay. I was thinking about this this morning. One. Give your rating versus the expectation that you had at the beginning of the season. And then give a rating based on how it ended up with your changed expectations. I want a number out of 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I know we got we got the, we got the Spurs guy and we got the Newcastle guy. So we 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 can get your guys' opinions too. But I want to start, I want to start with with uh with Connor and Kyle because they just got here. And then we'll we'll go around the horn to to Dal and then Matt and then and then go from there. So um, let's start with Connor. Connor, yeah. your expect your rating based on um, your your expectations at the beginning of the season vor- versus where we ended up. Yeah. Um, well, at the beginning of the season, I was sort of the same as all the players. Well, every season it should be go and win it. But I'm going to be honest, obviously that wasn't mine. I don't think we'd actually go ahead and actually challenge. Uh, my prediction at the beginning of the season was I wanted to win this Europa League, finally, because it's been too long. And I didn't want to go for top four. But in my opinion, I thought personally, I thought we would go uh, Europa League win, but a, a fifth place. Um, but... We didn't get that, so I, I'll rate my my uh, prediction. Maybe, well, we didn't win anything, so that takes it down definitely. However, we are in the Champions League, which is what I was aiming for in terms of winning the trophy to get into it. But yeah, it's just so disappointing the fact that we threw away everything, and 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 it's actually true that we threw it away because it's not like we in the games like the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup, Brighton and Man City. You couldn't see a team trying, in my opinion. It was very much, especially the Carabao Cup. Jesus, Mikel just threw out pretty much all the bench players, practically, put in our third-choice goalie. Hi, that's just a disgrace, in my opinion, because it's, it's pretty much the same. don't mean anything. Well, it does. It's, it's a trophy. So on the basis of that and the fact that we threw away everything and my prediction with it as well. So first, my prediction, I'm going to go for maybe a six because I thought we'd actually get a trophy. But in terms of overall now, and taking it in realistically, and the way everything's ended, I've got to give it. I'll give it a four, and that's just on the basis of the football that we have played. Because you can't deny, and I would be very surprised if people disagree. We have played fantastic football at times. We have played really like the football we played against Wolves yesterday was so good. I'm just sitting there and I'm thinking, why can we not do this? When it really matters? You know, why can't we do it when it matters? You know, it's such a shame because we. It's clear that we can play good football but we just choose to do it when there's no pressure, you know? Yeah. Um, so, in the, yeah, it's a four overall, in my opinion, because I'm happy with the football we played, but we threw everything away 
and the fact that we were pretty much gonna win the league for 248 something days we were on top and we threw it away that lowers it as well so I'll give it a four just on the basis of the football we've played this season um yeah that's all my right opinion. no that's fair all right Kyle Kyle your rating based on your expectations back in August and your rating based on how we ended up with adjusted expectations go for it man floor is yours Oh, you're, you're on, on mute, Kyle. Kyle, you're definitely on mute, brother. <laughs> still on mute. Signal. Yeah, still on mute. Might want to come out and come back in, man. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Come out, come back in. Come out, come back back in. Dow. Can you, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, now we can. Now we can. Oh, we lost. Him. Okay, I'll, I'll give your give okay, your I'll, I'll, on, man. I'll go quick. If Kyle jumps in, then I'll. Yeah, go yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. Um, expectations in August, man. My expectations were a five. I always try to come in a little optimistic and a little, you know, pessimistic as well. I came in. At, I, now that I'm thinking about it, I came in at really at a five. I came in midway because I finished. I knew I didn't think we'd finish top four. I finished. We figured we'd finish around sixth. Um, so now my expectation is really down to a two after what I saw against Wolves. Why didn't we do that you know, weeks ago, right? Where was that confidence and that swagger that we had against Wolves against Brighton? And I just don't know, understand the, the drop in levels of performances. Um, like Connor said, of course, we played great football, but the real drop in performances really, 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 really put the whole season in perspective. And it really was a, a colossal fuck up. And we're gonna go. We're gonna go down. Is again, 248 days, 93 percent of the Premier League time we were ahead. Um, and I think from being on a high at certain times, especially right before the Liverpool game, being on a high at the Newcastle game, and then being let down, I'm gonna go further down. Like I said, to a two. I'm I'm absolutely gutted. I'm angry. I'm disappointed. Um, we didn't do the work we needed to do in January to get it over the line. The more I think about it, the, we really effed up with not getting Jao Felix in, a real forward striker type player that probably could have bagged us a few goals. And we really just fucked the whole thing up, TJ. So I got to go from a five to a two. All right. Yeah. Well, you know that's 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 more than fair. Kyle, can we can you hear us? I can hear you, Stokey. You there we me? go. Yeah. There we go. All right, we're good. All right, all right. So yeah, so your your rating uh, based on your expectations at the beginning of the season, and then your rating um, after how we ended up. Yeah, my, my expectation of every season is Arsenal to win the Premier League title. That's that's just my expectation. That's not to say we're going to do it. So from my prediction, is that we're going to finish probably fifth. And I was hoping for us to compete in the Europa League. But that didn't work out too well, did it? So for that predicament, I give myself uh, five. And for the way the season ended, with zero, the blowouts that we did come in the last eight weeks, I give this season a zero. Ooh. A zero. Why would I want to give it any mass? What we just witnessed is the worst blow up, blow up in Premier League history. And people are gassing up about celebrating yesterday in the stadium. This is the fan base. <laughs> Me, awkward. Um, everyone is accepting us. I'm not accepting us. Zero. That's what they get for this season. They're an absolute embarrassment to the club. They're an embarrassment to the jersey. Embarrassing. Mikel's are trying to come out trying to make speeches, trying to cover over all the cracks. And believe you me, there's a lot of cracks. So, no, unacceptable happened this season, and they get a fat zero from me. Second place, my question is, for what? Are we, are we, are we going to compete in the Champions League next season? No. Could have been sporting this, been in the, in, the, in the Europa League. They were mind the top teams here. Forget about it. Different type of football. Forget about it. Disaster. Disaster of a season. 
go away all nations. Just throw them away like they never existed. It's absolute shambles. And uh, no, I'm sorry, TJ. I get not, no credit at all. Yeah, you got you got you got your own you, that that's your opinion, man. No, and 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 I agree. The, the being out we got our hearts ripped out, guys. We got our hearts ripped out and shown to us. <laughs> you know, and, and, and that's, that's, that's the worst part. <laughs> they show um, us our heart and then they yeah, get a bite out of it. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. Yeah. I might I might be uh too too big into uh evil dead rehearsals right now, but yeah, absolutely. They 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 ripped our hearts out, showed us to us. And then and then spiked it. And it's like all that good football that Connor was talking about too. And Kyle says a zero. I'm saying a two. Connor, what you were saying a four. It's like all that good football really is for nothing now. Yep. You know all the all that slick passing, the great goals we scored. Uh, you know the comebacks against Bournemouth, the comeback against Aston Villa is all for nothing in the end. And it's just it's heartbreaking, TJ. It is. It is. Kyle's, I, wanna... I think Kyle's got a good point. It's just a zero because. We won nothing, and here we are again. The same discussion. We need players. We need a new manager. Blah 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 blah. And we know nothing's going to change, you know, for next season anyway. Yeah, Maddie, what do you think? Man, <clears throat> you know, I've seen. I listen to Kyle. I I I I've been give, gave it a five out of ten just because the first half of the season was good. Uh, going into the season, I mean, I just wanted us to try to get into Europe. You know, on on paper, man, I think we all risk everybody on this panel pretty much looked. We in theory we wanted them to challenge for the title, but we all know that that team wasn't for the challenge to do anything. And at the end, they they they, they pretty much held up the end of the bargain. We what I saw yesterday was probably one of the, the most disheartening things. You know, I took me and Tony Tony Claw, we were voice messaging last night, and I could hear the pain in his voice. He said, Brother. What was that I was looking at, my friend? What mm-hmm. was that? And I'm and I, every every Arsenal fan with good sense looked at that yesterday, and we looked like fools. I, I mean, jumping up and down, screaming, banners. It was confetti. I mean, just everybody was just having a good time. And I was I was listening to Kenny Ken's uh, uh, fan cam yesterday. He brought up this point, and it, it, it and it hit me. It said, you know what? Kenny Kim is right on the money. The folks at that game yesterday were all people going to celebrate a championship. And so even though we didn't win a championship, they're still there to celebrate regardless of the fact. Fake it till you make it. Yeah, fake it till you make it. They don't care. Because look at look at the fan can titles you see coming out. You, you see what they're saying? Oh, we're close. Brilliant season. We're, hey, extra, I saw one today said extraordinary. This was out of this world. You telling me 248 days at the top and you finish in <laughs> second place is uh, that's out of this world? I said the yard man. That that video should be shown for for, for here out on how how rational fans who come out and speak against foolishness get cut down. This season was a failure. And I I'm going to refer to it. All we did was all we did was get into Europe. That's all we did. We threw everything else away. We got into Europe, and like Jess said earlier, we'll probably get it back to toss out next year. We have surgery that need to be done. The reality of this is this season here was a colossal failure. This was a his, TJ historical failure. We, we are part of many, unfortunately. We're on the wrong side of history. Mm. Wrong side, and then for ESPN and Arco to conspire today and come out with this crap about uh, that the, this year was the most wins they had more wins than the invincible. This, this, all of this revision is history. Everything is something to say we stunk it up this year when it counted to go out there and put that kind of performance in. It's just like Jay said yesterday if they had any, any guts about themselves. On that parade yesterday, they would have stood up and turned around and said, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. Because it's unacceptable. They, they should have felt con to see them put out that kind of performance yesterday. I mean, it was champagne football yesterday. Five, five nothing. When was that against Southampton? 
What was that at against West Ham? Yeah. Brighton. The whole game. What, what was that against Brighton? So, if we'd beat Southampton two times, that was six points this year we would have. And, and Maddie, like, is that – like, did the players come out yesterday because Arteta set them up? Or did they come out because they knew it was the last game and we better show a good face? See, that's where I start to get confused, where I put it on the players and not the manager. I see, I, as much as I want Arteta out, he is not responsible – for all the losses when we see shit performances on the pitch. Or against the same lineup we had against Brighton. Why what didn't you, we put five on Brighton? What you see, what you saw, yes. This is the, the you have to when you discuss this team, you have to you have to break it all down. The, the manager has not set did not set the tone in the critical run in. Right. The players in their mind yesterday, they're, they're at the beach. But they put five on Wolves, so they were in the game. They're at the beach. Wolves are dog shit, though. Uh, I, I, I'm not. I'm not here. All of them are dog shit. TJ brings up right? the TJ TJ brings up the point. I think the record this year. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I think that we have won seven straight games on the last. If it's the last day, we win seven straight games. If it's at home or something along that line, we always the last, right. the last three. The I last three yeah. home games we won by a goal differential of at least four. Yeah. So. This is this is on everybody. They don't they don't perform when it counts. Right. We're paper champions. Y'all y'all two y'all two Americans y'all y'all can y'all can work me on this. Y'all remember the 2000 Tampa Bay Buccaneers? They're the best team on paper. Look great. Could win. It's the same thing. We are the same team that that is. We look great when it doesn't count. When it when nothing hey, counts. Hey, when the Patriots were or when yeah, the Patriots. Yeah. NFL. That was what I was gonna say. So Matt, when when the Patriots went, the, yeah, when the Patriots went seventeen and 0, oh yeah, I know about that personally. Yeah, I know about that personally. Yeah, I don't even bring that season up because we didn't, we didn't steal the deal. What the hell is good going undefeated? And you don't win. This is no, it's no different than what we did this year. Two hundred and forty. I, I never even looked. At, I never even thought about it that way, y'all. Yeah, y'all are one hundred percent correct. Undefeated season. Still lose the championship game. Doesn't mean anything. That season means absolutely nothing to me. 248 days at the top, and we're, we're going to walk for, for here out. We'll say this season meant nothing. If real, no, real yeah. we we'll say it never you, meant nothing. You know what's actually kind of you know what's actually kind of funny is that if you look at the last 10 games of a season, it's kind of like if, if from an American perspective, it's like it's like it's like the playoffs the last 10 games of the season, because you can be so good up to a certain yep. point. Yep. But if you drop off, you're going to get exposed and you're going to drop and you're not going to accomplish whatever that is. So for me, you guys, and if you guys were a playoff team, you would be, yeah, we're amazing. We're the best of the best for a long time, 240 days. But then as soon as you get in the first round, it's bip. Well, that's it's, how it's, it's, it's like with Wigan. Y'all, you remember? You remember that year when City had that 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 uh that team that was real good, and then they ran up against Wigan in the FA Cup. Yeah, I mean that that's 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 what it's like. Yeah, no, nobody remembers. Oh, that was a great great City team in that. No, they got beat by Wigan, a team that was getting relegated. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, it's I mean, like, and, and that's and that's my biggest problem. As a neutral looking at Arsenal, the one thing that you guys, I am never going to trust you again in this situation until you actually do it. We you ain't guys play, Steve. Yeah. You guys <laughs> play so well when there's no pressure on, but then as soon as it is applied, you don't turn up. You don't. And the fact that, that the whole Liverpool thing – I mean, it's a butterfly effect moment with Xhaka pissing off the infield crowd. You guys were cruising two nothing in that game. I know people. I, I know people don't want to say, "Oh, well, that's scapegoating." No, bro. I, I, it's not. It's not scapegoating. It's called a butterfly effect. A butterfly effect means that one little thing happens. You can go back. Not to interrupt you, Steve. You can yeah. go back to any certain point of the season. I went. I go back to that one nil loss no, at no. Goodison Park. I go oh, back yeah? to that one nil loss at Goodison Park. Yeah. To where to where I saw I'm like, okay, there are cracks in this team. Yeah. There are, 
there are large issues in this team yeah. that we need to address. Okay, so so let me let me do some some quick whoring. Um, thirty inside everybody on a Monday That's afternoon, that. Monday evening on TJ Warren TV, Colin show. Um, smash the like, smash the subs if you haven't already. Sub to everybody on this panel. Um, I was gonna ask Elias, and then he then he uh, stepped up and stepped away. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, hey, Dal, Dal, do you need to head out? I did head out. It's great seeing everyone. Big up the panel. Big up, of course, yeah, everyone yeah. in the chat. Um, shout out to all the uh, service men and women. Yes, sir. And yes, it's sir. Great to have a, a day off and chat with everybody. And TJ, I'll be seeing you on Friday. I'm sure. Here we go. Yeah, oh, here yeah. we go. Look forward to sure, the American Idiot Show. Rain or shine, we will be on Friday at nine. You like how that rhymes? Like that? All right. <laughs> Up the arsenal. I'll see you later, Dal. See you. Dal. All right, Elias. I want to get your opinion on this, and then I'm going to move over to Central Man and Jez because they have been quiet. Um, Elias, from a Spurs perspective, and yeah, go ahead and take you take your shots because you're you're brave enough to come on here. You can take your shot. Um, give us where you expected Arsenal to finish, and give it give a rating based off of where. They actually finished based on where I expected context. Arsenal to be finish from the season start or like season mid or something like that. Yeah. So at the beginning of the season, start of the season. Yeah. At the beginning of the season, where did you expect us to finish? And then give us a rating on the season based off of where we finished versus your expectations. It's a it's a tough one given the given the scenarios that took place and all that. Uh, throughout the season, uh, if you if you ask me, beginning of the season, I didn't expect you guys to win, uh, even finish even in top six. My expectation was that the the, the kind of projects that the other teams are building up and stuff like that, I thought that this season Arsenal will crumble badly. The uh, like you guys might finish like let's say seventh or eighth. Uh, given what the situation that was going on and all that. Of course, yes, I know that you guys spend money and you guys some bought, bought in some really quality players. But given given your track record and all that uh, on the previous seasons where you had some consistency and stuff like that, in, in, in that pattern, I didn't really expect that you guys would finish in top six. But the way season progressed and certain good players like Saliba... Uh, you guys had uh, Martin Ali really stepped up, uh, and then you had Saka. He had a fantastic season. Uh, Zinchenko turned out to be a good signing in the end to, uh, at the left. And all that factors, wow, suddenly in the, you guys are like title contenders. And then uh, you come, it comes to the end of the season, crumble. Uh, from a Spurs perspective, I would say I would give Arsenal a five or a six uh, for the whole season, the way you guys played the entire season. But if you just disregard the factor of the expectations that we had from the beginning of the season, I think uh, if you just look at like mid-season till the end, that season is like three or four. Uh, because it just feels like like what Steve was saying earlier, like you can play all you want, like in the beginning of the season, you can you can have some really good games and you can have some really good good shots. It's like playing the playoffs, like in the group stage, you can you can actually have a good performance. But if you cannot withstand the pressure in the knockouts in the tournament, then that that's where uh, the real deal comes out. So I guess when you guys free, were under pressure, it really didn't work out for you guys. And that's something I guess Arsenal need to work on big time in the coming seasons as well because this team is a young team. Uh, is a, if I'm not mistaken, is Arsenal side the youngest team at the moment in in terms of average age? Because previous season they were. Yeah, they are still. So so I don't know if that's going to be the case next season, but yeah, they are still. Yeah. So it, it it is a worrying factor. Like let's say if Arsenal were to crumble like that, and again, this is another thing you guys all know that your record in the knockouts have not been that great either. Like in the in FA Cup, in Carabao Cup, you guys had early exits. In Europa League as well, you guys exited early. So this is where it really matters, and that's something Arsenal need to really work on next season. 
like work on work on the mentality of the players, teach them how to how how to survive these pressure points because if they cannot handle the pressure like that, it's going to be really tough, man. Seriously, going into yeah. the coming season where you have even tougher. I think the Premier League competition from the last two season until now has gotten much tougher. Like the oppositions and the teams that you have. And right now, with those kind of teams who are not very rich, they have the Europa League money, they they have the Conference League money, and all that. They're gonna go big, so it's gonna be a pressure point uh, season in terms of uh, the games next season for Arsenal. Uh, however, I think well, I I I would give you the credit where it's due that you guys progressed rather than rather than uh, regressing. So yeah. it's. Yeah, it is. It is a credit to your manager and to your team. Yeah, yeah. Unlike right. us, where we regressed rather than progressing. Oh, we'll we'll roast you here in a second. Don't worry about it. I'm I'm not. I'm not. You're you're here. I'm gonna absolutely cook you. Um, I want to come to Jazz after this, but first I got to bring in some guy in the back making his TJ Warren TV debut, like directly on the channel. We simulcast, but the fact that this guy popped into the back room, it's an absolute honor. Tony Claude Gunner TV, everybody. Ah! There he is. There he is. There he is. Speak Tony of the devil and he appears. Speak of the devil. <laughs> yeah. yeah, speak of the devil. He <laughs> appears. Uh, Tony, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a chance to intro yourself real quick. But uh, Jez has been waiting patiently, and I really want to get his yes, opinion yeah. on this. Jez, um, I listened to you a lot. I didn't really join you on YouTube until <clears throat> mid season. Um, but I listened to you a lot and we, we had certain expectations at the beginning of the season around where we think Arsenal will, would, would end up. Like I personally thought top four win Europa League, that that's where we're going to, that's, that's where I hope we're going to end up. But, but Jez, what is your rating based on like, based on where we finished and then in the context of the season, what do what do, what do you think? What are your thoughts on that? Um, Okay, quality of football has been seven. We've had some great mm -hmm. performance, technically. End of season expectation is, well, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to say zero. We didn't win anything. We didn't achieve bugger all. We threw away the FA Cup, we threw away the Carrier Bag Cup, and we threw away the Europa League. And we capitulated in the Premier League, having been top. For 240 48 days so mm -hmm. how can you rate it any better but i've been told today um by my favorite person who comes in my chat jace you need to reevaluate the way you look at the football <laughs> and, and and the second, the second thing is, um arteta i know he said i've i i'm i'm disappointed i've lost thousands in, in in betting um <laughs> and arteta deserves a statue along 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 with the dog oh boy what the fuck i think i know who you're talking about jazz i think it's yeah i, I think old no. pete, old pete. Yeah. he 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 is an i mean he does he does it for clicks man he, yeah he, he, I, don't, I don't actually believe he they don't make people that messed up. There's there's a limit to these things. No, nah, these guys are absolute trolls. By the way, uh, 36 inside, smash the like, smash the subs. We got a legendary panel here. One out of a million panels. So keep going, Jess. I just want to, uh, before we get to Tony, um, I just want to say this young football team, everybody keeps gassing it up. There's international players in that team. There is Zach, Saka, Xhaka, Jesus, Martinelli, Ben White. So I wouldn't call it the youngest team at all. The fact remains is who cocked it up? Arteta, his inane, stupid team lineups, his crazy tactics at Anfield and other games. And the fact he has no tactical ability more than my little finger. <laughs> and the fact that Arsenal accept it is because he's a yes man and he will play the game. And I say again, 
the embarrassment that I saw yesterday of those fans <laughs> celebrating like we'd won the Premier League. Embarrassing. And I got criticised on Lee's um, show yesterday. Oh, Jez keeps saying back in time. Yeah, well, back in time, we had a proper fan base. A fan base that would have booed that lot off the pitch because they failed. They apps like they did. They did in 2002, 2003, when we were 10 points ahead against Man United. They were booed off the park. They were booed off the pitch because they failed. And unfortunately, big up to Warren, TV talk. He's trying to do this uh, petition to get the Cronkies out. And fair play to him. But unfortunately, mate, you're wasting your time. Because until the fan base turn on Arteta, Edu, Vinay, Garlic Head, nothing's going to happen. The because only way. Give you the money. The, well, the only money. way that's going to get traction, man, if you've got a massive channel. And you're going to have to have like a channel the size of AFTV, I'm afraid. Because that's the only way it'll happen is because they are. They are the cancer in this fan base. AFTV yep. are the biggest cancer because there's too many people follow them like sheep. They're lemmings. If, if Robbie Lyle said, let's all go walk off Beachy Head, then we'll do it. It's a joke. Yep. This football club has become a joke, and I'm going to shut up now. All right. Hey. No, great opinions, Jess. No, and, and agreed. I agree. I, at this point, we're wearing uh, we're wearing red clown noses. We got thirty five inside everybody. This is the largest viewership for a call in show that we have ever had. So make sure you are smashing the likes. Make sure you are subbing to every single individual on here. We got Steve eating his lunch. We got we got Matt the Southern Gooner sub to Matt Southern Gooner sub to Central Man sub to Tony Clud Goner TV and sub to Step Up Spurs. He's a Spurs fan, but you know we don't hold it against him too much. Tony Claude hey. Gunner making his TJ Warren TV debut. Brother, how you doing? Hey, brother. <laughs> TJ, I thought you that day will come when I'll creep up to your show. I just finished the show, you know, on my own uh, uh, channel, and I saw you live, and I saw it was a calling show. And, of course, I couldn't resist, uh, 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 you know, uh, that portion uh, where Jazz is in the house. Big legend, yeah. We have Steve and also my <laughs> partner in crime, yeah, Sartan Gunner. And also, uh, it's also nice to see Central Man uh, down here and uh, Elias. Big ups to you guys, yeah. yeah big ups to you guys. Uh, yeah. TJ, thanks for having me on your show, man. Of course, man. How are you feeling um, after after yesterday, um, after watching uh, Wolves? I mean, I, I know you and I were like, uh, when do we really want to do a show? Because it's like, are we just going to get smashed? Yeah. Like, it really doesn't matter, right? But how are you feeling after that result? Like, what are, what are your thoughts on Arsenal right now? Um, see, yeah, I, I really thought... The the scenes I saw yesterday, yeah, were shocking to me. You know, this season, uh, see, Warren, you, you know me. I, I've, I've topped up this season. Uh, I, I said that this season, I, I really wanted Mikel Arteta to go all in for that uh, uh, title this season. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact there is that we failed. Yeah. We failed mm -hmm. in that. We didn't get that title. And to see the fanfare, yeah, it was like the way in Glastonbury. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if you know uh, about our, uh, <laughs> a concert they call Glass. Yeah, the concerts. Yeah, yeah, I know about that. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It was like a fun fair going down there. Yeah. See, uh, second is progress. But is that success? No, we didn't win a trophy. When you win a trophy in a season, that's success. Yeah. Now, of course, we've come eight, eight in terms of uh, the manager, Mikel Arteta. Eight, eight. Fifth and now second. Uh, for me, uh, the, the FA Cup is not just enough. It doesn't cut it enough. Yeah, it's not just enough. It's not good enough. Uh, you know, I I really wanted to see us win the title this season. And the fact is that we bought it. That that's just it. We bought with it. You know, there's no two ways going about it. Uh, you know, no positivity spin can you know can spin this, you know, we bought the this season. And this was the best season that we had to actually uh, uh, obtain this title. Yeah, mm -hmm. Liverpool had a horrible season. Manchester United couldn't even win games away from home this season. 
yeah? All these teams, Chelsea Football Club, having a horror show, our, yeah. our, our noisy neighbours, yeah? Uh, Thoughts on what sports can't even get Champions League football, yeah. And we just bought this league. The way, see, it was the <laughs> manner with which we allowed this time to sleep yeah. off our hands. It but that was the most painful one, yeah. Look against the donuts of the league, Southampton. Can you believe it? Or go down in 30 seconds in the matchup. Can you believe it, TJ Warren? There's nothing as painful. I was talking about this with uh, the Southern Good uh, Gunner, my brother here, and that's why we have to hold this club accountable uh, in the summer. Yeah, in the summer, uh, we need a big summer transfer window. Yeah, see, we can gloat about this season. Yeah, this season is already a failure. Did we progress? Yes, I want people to understand that. Did we sure. progress? Yes, but was it a success? The answer is no, it wasn't a success. It was actually a failure to me, but it was a progress in a way, you know, kind yeah. of it is kind of thing. But you know what? Yeah, this is the biggest and the most important transfer window that Arsenal would have since the last 20 years. This is yeah. it. This summer is the biggest. Yeah. And that's why I want YouTubers, yeah. Uh, that are loyal to Arsenal, that believe in <laughs> Arsenal, that want our club to actually win. Everyone wants this club to win. If you're if you're a supporter of this football club, you want the club to win. I want us to actually put fire on these guys, yeah? So actually go in the transfer window and create solutions to the problems that wasn't solved in January. That's what I want to see. I want to see us go in there and get in a Kaiseido. I want us to put up a bid right now for Declan Rice because it hasn't been done yet. Don't get it twisted. It hasn't been done. Yeah. I want the contract of William Saliba to be concluded. How about that? Yeah. I want a bigger squad. I need six more players to come in. I don't want to see when the dog come in. No, that's not, that's not what I want. I don't want a feel good moment at the club. Uh, given to me by a dog. The feel-good moment I'm going to have in this football club is unless we go into that summer transfer window and bring us a cent. My brother, uh, uh, Salton Gunner, we have a saying here, yeah? Zulu Warriors. We need Zulu Warriors up in here, yeah? People who come in and do a proper job. How about going there and getting uh, uh, someone who would put up competition for, for Bukayo Saka, right? Yeah, how about that? Yeah, see, TJ Warren, how about going next season? Yeah, and winning the Mickey Mouse Cup. How about that? Going down there and winning the Carabao Cup. Is it is, is that far fetched for us to do? We can go in and win that FA Cup. How about going to the Champions League? Yeah, and getting a semi final berth. How about that, TJ Warren? I want that for my football club. So that's why this summer transfer window is the most important. Let's put everything. See, Every differences any Arsenal fan have right now, put it away. This summer transfer window, we need signings, yeah? And we need to also get the garbage that has been in this football club out. We need to get them out of the football club because they're causing a kind of congestion in this football club. Can you believe mm -hmm. it? is still in this football club getting hogs at the end of the game. It's, for me, it's shocking. Yeah, to see El Neni, who hasn't even picked the ball this year for us to still be here. It's atrocious. He's going to be like a new, si be like a new signing, Tony. It's atrocious. <laughs> that <laughs> is still in this football club. Uh, no, I I'm serious. It it's, yeah, not, it's not a laughing matter again. What does these guys, what do these guys have against our bod that these guys don't want to let these guys go? Yeah? Now, see, everyone I've been talking about the big fish, yeah? This is the bigger fish, the Champions League. We're on the bigger fish. How can we go to the bigger fish when we don't have oil to fry the bigger fish? You get oil, you get some little seasoning, right? So if you want to fry the bigger fish, go and get us Kaiseido. Go and get us Declan Rice. And I don't want to hear that we can only just get one. No, we can get two. We're the third biggest club in this you know, in the in the Premiership, we can do that. How about that? Yeah. Go get those two midfielders. Go wrap it up. Go go get a Latoro Martinez right now. Go and get a backup. See, how about throwing in a chicken bid for Open Cano right now to show up our defense? Mm -hmm. How about right now going to get Gehi? 
right now. How about right now, yeah? Go in and throw in a cheeky bid for that guy that plays for Napoli, that Manchester United have claimed him as oh, their Simon, own. Or Kim Min Jae. Kim Min Jae. Kim May, Kim, Kim May or whatever they call the guy. Kim How about throwing a cheeky bid for that guy, yeah? And instead, we're talking about hogs. We're talking about Granny Jaka, I love you. Yeah, he served the club, uh, 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 you know, in his own way but was it a perfect guy is he a legend in my eyes the answer is no does it deserve a, a fun fair goodbye for me no does he deserve his pension yes he deserves it yeah good just tell him goodbye thanks for what you've done for the football club and that's it yeah i'm not I believing that he's leaving there. until i see I him miss you. I, you, you, what you, I, you know, what yeah, you know. The club <laughs> to around this type of respect yeah, yeah what has he done you know disrespected the fan base truck captain and yeah. i'm banned down yeah you know see I, I don't want to go all about this yet but all i want to see is that the summer transfer window is what i want arsenal fans to come together i agree and start content yeah hit them where it hurts and uh, tj warren yesterday we were supposed to have a watch along yeah i told you that i actually wanted arsenal to lose in that game yeah, because if we win or if we won that match, mm, we won that match. Yeah, five nil. I, I have this kind of feeling. Yeah, that this board will say that we're okay. I have this feeling that this board will say we just need two players. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's possible. This board can do it. I'm an Arsenal fan. I've seen this happen time and time and time again. That's why I want us to lose that matchup so they will understand the urgency that we need a contingency plan right now. Yeah. And right now, there's even no need of, of even saying Ateta out right now because we know that this board has the perfect PR plan, perfect PR stunt. This guy's going nowhere. Yesterday, you can count how many times Mikel Ateta is the best looking Spaniard I know in that football club. See, the PRC, yeah. anyone going against this machine, I pity you. You would not win against this PR machine. The PR machine is on full effect. Yeah? It's on full effect. Uh, imagine Eddie and Katie are taking the the, uh, yeah, the, number, the number 14. So much. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And the way they, they spawn this thing, yeah? And we all accept it. Thierry mm -hmm. Henry's number being given to Eddie and Katia. No, no one, no one yeah. would say anything. Yeah. We'll block for a while. But it, right. it's all over, yeah? He took it. That shows you the PR machine effect in this club. It's it's tremendous. Not talk of I the agree. envelope. Tony, I'm going to have to cut you off real quick. Yeah. Real quick, brother, Amazing. brother. I agree yeah. with everything that you're saying. I got to cut you off real quick, guys. All right. I have about 15 minutes, and then I got a jet. I was only expecting to do this for two hours, but then all these legends started joining. So I was just like, oh, crap. <laughs> um, yeah, no, bu busy Memorial Day for me today, um, unfortunately, but I just want to I want to give everybody a chance uh, to yeah. get their last two cents in. And usually that takes about 15, 20 minutes. So I want to do that right now. Um, the one question I might prompt on a little bit is is where do you see Arsenal finishing next season? Um, and and I and I'm particularly interested in in hearing Elias and and, um, and Steve on this. But I want to start with Central Man and, and Central Man. Um, after you give your um, your uh, prediction, shout out your channel because we're going to kind of try to take it out at the oh, same yeah. time too because I, I know how these conversations go and it's going to be a little bit of a long one. So go ahead, go ahead, Central Man, and shout your channel out. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, um, my, pre uh, my predictions for – is it next season? For next season. Where are we going to finish next season? Oh, yeah. Um, to me <laughs> – this is probably difficult difficult to say, but it's it's too it's too early for to say we'll remain. But I think I don't know, man. This is difficult. This is kind of higher than fifth or lower. Probably, probably. Go. I think probably lower, man. I think like depending depending if like you know, I think I go about probably uh, I don't know six. You know, I don't know. This is very difficult. I I go six, man. I feel like depending like if we're do well in the Champions League, trying to kick on from the league. You know, if it's the same shit, if it, if we're like um like had a bad start of the season, crash out of the Champions League. Yeah, I say go six or I uh, yeah I go with six. Okay, six, six. Shout your channel out though. I know you're on the road to a thousand freaking subs though, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's my uh, goal, you know, because um, I'm on the road to 1K. So far, I'm on 350, but right. my goal is to reach 1 1K before the end of um, before April of next year. Hey, that's a, that's an excellent goal. Everybody, sub to Central Man Network. That is an incredible number, though. 350. Not, nothing to scoff at for sure. Um, all right. So uh, Central Man says six. Um, Jez, what do you think? Um, well, let's be honest. There's going to be a lot of business done this summer by Newcastle, Man United, Chelsea. Not sure about Tottenham, um, but they need to. Arsenal, will we do the business? Well, knowing Edu and the board, the talk is there's a war chest of 200 million. Whoopie do. Um, when we're looking at buying Declan Rice for 100 million, that won't happen. Arsenal will never spend 100 million on one player. Let's, let's, let's just put that one to bed. Um, and I'm, I'm glad they wouldn't because I don't think he's worth 100 million. Great player. We could go in and get Madison cheap, cheap, cheap. He doesn't yeah. want to play in the championship, he won't. Premier League football, and if a club comes in for him at the right money, saying we're Premier League and we've got Champions League football, come and join us. Edu, right now, if he has any balls, will be in there today saying, Madison, come and join Arsenal. We want yeah. you, come and join us. And if Edu's got any bollocks at all, he'd be in with Casado saying, you wanted to come to us in January. We cocked it up. Um, let's do a deal. Walk in the door. Thanks very much. If Granite Xhaka is really going to leave, and that's the talk, um, although the way the fans gassed him up yesterday, um, <laughs> he might change his mind. Now, I, I was at that game at Crystal Palace when he, he, he threw the armband down and told us all to do that. And he got booed. He got booed right but now this fan base are in love with the guy because he's had one good season one one good season the rest of the time he's been an absolute clown cost us games and i i said on lees yesterday he cost us the season tudel up anfield all going well he had uh, a row of alexander arnold and the anfield Fans got behind them when they were dead quiet. They were dead quiet. And it cost us. I blame him. Sorry. There you go. I never rated him anyway. But um, I have given him praise this season, to be fair, because I have think he has played exceptionally well. Because uh, once, for once, Arteta put him in the right position to play. He kept him out of defence where he's absolutely useless. Right. So my prediction, my prediction. I'm going to say Arsenal will finish fourth. I'm just going to, going to go ahead and say I agree with everything Jess said, and I think we're going to finish fourth too and bomb out of the Champions League. Um, Let's go to Steve-O. Steve-O, first of all, uh, thanks again, Steve, for, for being the the, neutral, the resident neutral on this channel. We always appreciate it, man. Yeah. And, yeah, give, give, give your prediction for Arsenal and then shout your channel out. Um, well, I think y'all are probably going to finish, yeah, probably fourth, maybe fifth. I don't know. But fifth is a Champions me, League spot next season, right? I have to look because some people are is. saying yes and some people are saying no. I, 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 I guess I'll have to. Idiot. Idiot. Oh. I, last night. Idiot. I, still think, I still think we'll finish Man. fourth, but yeah. Okay, fair enough. Well, there you go. Then Arteta will be here for the next two years. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> have fun with that one. Um, but yeah, uh, and then and then since I am Newcastle, where do I think we'll finish next year? I actually think we're gonna challenge Man City for the title. I'm gonna go second. I'm gonna go That's second. Cool. I think I think there's a big summer incoming. I think the landscape of English football is not as strong as people seem. I mean, yeah, Chelsea, Man, uh, Manchester United, and these guys, Liverpool. Let's be honest here. Do, do, do you, does anyone see Liverpool winning 
a Premier League or contending for one. I I just think Liverpool is. I don't I think know. they're going to get top five next season. Sure, but I don't know something something about something about this team, something about Newcastle, what we've shown this season, and how exponentially we've jumped from one extreme to the other, and then now to the other. Possibly, I feel like we could do what you guys did this season, if I'm honest. Um, yeah, but. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe that's optimistic for me. I don't really care about that. If we finish second but win nothing, then I, I, I'm gonna have to call it like it is for here, for you guys. That's not good enough. That you know, it's progress. It's exceptional progress, but it's still failing. So my priority next year is a trophy at Newcastle, and yours should be too. That should every every club really. But yep. um, in terms of uh, in terms of my channel, it's uh, Strasbourg Steve. Um. Uh, I'll be doing a watch on definitely for Sevilla Roma. Um, I'm not looking forward to it if I'm honest. Um, because if Roma win, I might just I don't even know what I'm gonna do if Roma win. I'm gonna be so fucking pissed. But um, yeah, I don't like Roma. I don't like Roma at all. But hey, maybe Sevilla can pull one off. But you know. All it right. is what it is. Yeah, all man. Right. Big up Strasburg Steve. Big up Strasburg Steve every single time. Like I said, I am Strasburg Steve in now. Hashtag Maddie, <laughs> the Southern Gooner. Shout your channel out and give us yeah, give us your, yeah, your place stations real quick. I got guys. I got five minutes, so keep it yeah, brief. I'm I hate to be here, brother. Like brother. I gotta go. Southern Gooner here on YouTube. My prediction next year: is we will finish either sixth or seventh, depending on this transfer window. Uh, and. It's going to be rough next year, man. It's going to be rough. I'm in the count with Jez. The only way that changes are going to get made is when people finally get hit over the head with a brick and they realize that this year was a, a completely missed opportunity. Uh, hopefully, the manager will have learned something from this year because right. if he has not learned anything from next, from this year, we really, really, really need to have a discussion uh, at the beginning of the season. So that, that's my take on it, fellas. TJ, glad, good, always good to be here amongst the good brethren. Hey, thank you very much, Matt. Uh, Matt, I'm I'm with you on the on the ten game leash, though. By the way, I I am I am with you there. Um, okay, uh, let's go, Elias. Step up, Spurs. Thank you for coming on. It's always it's always uh, fun to have a Spurs fan. Um, at least there weren't multiple this time. Um, but, but, but yeah, Elias, shout yourself out and where, where are Arsenal going to finish next year in your opinion? Uh, where would Arsenal finish? A uh, long way from Starbucks. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I, I think you guys will finish somewhere. Like I think top four, but definitely you guys would bottle something. Oh next God. Season. Shout your channel uh, out, Elias. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, yeah, you, can, you guys can find me at Step Up Spurs. Uh, I'll be doing some some usual stuff uh, in the uh, in the next coming days. Like I I might do some top bin keep those kind of videos and some yep. and and working on working on the transfers and all that. So that kind of videos. I might be doing some less live streams in the next next few uh, next two months or so. But yeah, back in August I'll be back with my regular shows. Yeah, so you guys can check me out at Step Up Spurs. Excellent. Excellent. Thanks, Elias, again. Um, sub to step up Spurs. He's a Spurs fan, but you can't hold that against him um, too much anyway. You can hold it against him, but not like too much. You know what I mean? He's not like that fraud Deji Spurs. He actually has like some, some, uh, humility. some, some humility. He he realizes where Spurs are and doesn't try to like project his problems on people. Tony, you know what I mean? Um I get you, Tony, real quick shout out your channel man i'm sorry it was brief today but i got a lot of crap going on so i had time yeah, for a two hour show and i and i threw it out there so tony again shout out your channel throw um throw out where you think arsenal are going to finish and then i'm going to wrap us up here yeah sure <laughs> see yeah uh tj warren thanks for allowing me to uh show up to the show today of course it's, it's very very it's a very big honor to uh, uh be in front of jess well, once again doing the show uh, uh, down here, and of course, uh, my guy Steve, and of course, Elias, and of course, Matt, who just left to uh, big up to everyone, uh, uh, down here. See, so, yeah, um, Arsenal next season, yeah, it depends on our transfer window. If mm -hmm. you're giving me a transfer window, I see us, uh, uh, coming second. If you give me a good transfer window, 
as is coming second and scooping one or two baby cops here and there. You know, if the if the transfer window is 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 rough, we might be coming uh, maybe just fifth. Uh, 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 next season, uh, guys, you can um catch me on Tony Cloud Gunner TV. Yeah, TJ Warren, big family, uh, Matt, big family, Jez, also big family of mine, and of course, Steve Mahala. I have a show with him at Gunners and Mag, so uh, of course, a uh, big, big family too down here, too. So, big ups, uh, respect to Jez, respect to everyone uh, who came to this show. Big ups to Mr. B, who is also down there, Mara Flossie. Thank you very much, Highbury um, local badger. Big ups to you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. All right, yeah, and thanks, everybody. Thanks. Big up, Mama Flossie, Mr. B for live. Lo Hi, Barry's local badger. Tony, um, obviously, Connor had to drop. So Dow had to drop without without shouting themselves out, but um, always sub to um, Dow, who is Oregon Gooner, and uh, Connor, which is Connor, um, a.k.a. CMO, so Connor.media if you need any media completed for your YouTube channels or otherwise. Uh, Jez, you didn't shut your channel out real quick. I want to give you the opportunity to do that, and then I am out. Oh, yeah. Sorry, mate. Yeah. It's Arsenal, the history and more. Um, doing a stream tomorrow night, match review against about the uh, game at the weekend. Thursday night, 6 p.m., big show. Big, big show. Um, match, uh, well, basic season review. And I've got some proper legends coming on there. Um, so, um, yeah, 6 p.m. Um, that'll be that'll be an interesting one. Yep, yeah. And well, if I'm not on the panel for that one, I will be in the chat yelling. I will, I will say that for <laughs> sure. Okay, um, TJ Warren TV has just hit 275 in the subscriber area. Big, Big up, up everybody for wow. um for subbing for liking. Um, I think we're up to almost almost uh, 60 likes on this. So if you haven't hit a like, absolutely do that um we appreciate you guys um you know spending your time with us and and taking in all the opinions of all these different legends on the panel um sorry to cut it short it's just a really really busy weekend for me uh despite yeah, memorial day so um let's go ahead and uh i'm gonna take us out tune into the american idiot show 9 p.m uk um i think i'm just going on different shows this week so i'll i'll obviously plug those as as we go along but um, definitely the next show on TJ Warren TV will be American Idiots on Friday. So big yourself up. Big up, Jez. Big up, Steve. Elias, Tony, um, Southern Gooner, Central Man, um, Dal, Connor, everybody who came on. And we are out. Mm -hmm.